Those stories coming up as CNN turns its focus to your health right now. Your health, there's nothing more important. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta. July 4th is coming up fast and Americans across the country will be celebrating the nation's birthday in many different ways. Some are gonna make it out here to the beach. Others are gonna stay home and fire up the grill and still others will go for a hike or a bike ride. From food poisoning to heat stroke, however, there's a certain level of risk lurking in all of these fun summer activities. We're gonna show you what to look for and how to avoid hidden dangers. We start here though at the beach. I'm going to introduce you to one man, a doctor, who's on a personal mission to promote sun safety and to reduce skin cancer. Everybody's here today. Tell me your, your personal story. How did you, I mean, this is a great idea, but how did you decide to do this? You know, you're out here, people know you, obviously, when you walk around in your hat and your white coat and everything, but right. how did you decide to do that? Well, it was the beginning, more the beginning of my practice then, so it was good uh, for promotion, but also good public service. And I've had people ask me, uh, aren't you reducing uh, patients coming in by going out and giving out sunscreen? <laughs> and trust me, I have plenty of patients now, thank the Lord. And uh, I would rather reduce melanomas and have other skin conditions that there's plenty of, because if we can save lives, that's the more valuable thing in life. So what is it that you're doing here at the... Uh, well, uh, other than enjoying the day, I'm out here really to try to increase consciousness of people that melanoma keeps going up four or five percent every year and melanoma is a killer skin cancer. You know people, how many, you're looking around the beach here today, how many people do you think are adequately protected? We know that kids only 20 percent are adequately protected, 80 percent don't get the sunscreen they should. And tell me what that means adequately protected. Well yeah, adequately is at least a 15, preferably a 30 and so that they're preventing sunburns. You should get 80% of your sun before you're 18. And if the sun damage is cumulative, it keeps building on up. I mean, I, I see 50 year old patients come in and say, well, I'm never in the sun. And I say, you've been in the sun for 50 right. years. Right, you and know. everyone, you know, everyone knows those messages. I mean, even, we've been hearing them forever. Why, why are people still out here not, uh, not protected? I, I think that, you know, it's a nuisance to put on. I know even I have four kids and, uh, you know, putting the sunscreen on with them is even a problem. You have to fight with them a bit. People still want uh, a tan. They think that it is, uh, you know, shows affluence or a leisurely lifestyle. You think you think you're making a difference out here? I hope so. I, I mean, I I think that, you know, if there's some people, if there's one person that we help with it, I, I'm happy for it because uh, hopefully you're on Earth to make uh, it a better place. And uh, if we can do that and and reduce some suffering and and problems and and death from uh, making people more aware of uh, sun protection, then so be it. And sunscreen is certainly one important tool in the fight against skin cancer. 